Now there's no colony, and there's gonna be no Earth, so thank you, Rose Quartz. You doom the planet. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Welcome to Jester Brothers Cartoon Theater, brethren. Hi, Mom. I've got to jester it up more. i got to teach you how to do head balance tricks, which I'm so good I mean, at. I could try to juggle the three fidget toys that I have in my hand and see if that goes okay. I'd be so impressed. Oh, I'm impressed! <laughs> that was awesome! You dropped at the end and I saw it, unfortunately. But otherwise, that was perfect! Why, thank you, why, thank you. Well, everybody, it is Steven Universe that we are talking about today. We are actually cartoon watchers. We enjoy animated series of all kinds. Focus of interest is Steven Universe, a great show that I have never seen, and Lou has, and many of you already know the backstory. Uh, enjoy the banter, and the banter there will be, because I think the next two episodes should be fun. Yes, indeed. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed and you've been watching, the series you might as well subscribe because then you won't miss the ones you don't have to wait for it to pop up randomly in your home screen which i do sometimes with channels that i like and i should just subscribe to those channels so take my be better than me and also hit like the video because i'm still balancing this bird on my head that is pretty awesome and i'm still juggling you just can't see it i'm gonna see how long i can do this steven's birthday oh my god it's oh. steven's birthday okay i could just make like an easy joke about oh i bet it's garnet's birthday today real guess about what might happen on Steven's specific birthday. It's Amethyst's his, birthday. I, I think we might get a major Rose Lore drop in this one. I actually think that maybe she's going to have some special gift for him that maybe gets sent or perhaps it's been saved all this time. That's what I'm expecting. Well, we're, don't forget that last night in the story, the present was Garnet telling the backstory of her, or you know what I mean. You're right. So if, technically it already happened. Yeah. Celebrate our progress. We should celebrate your progress. You've grown a lot this year. He has grown a lot this year. He has. So much character growth. And so have we all, audience. Or some Connie! of us. Connie! Steven! Connie! Duncan! May I offer you a refreshment? Oh, Steven. Whoa. How genteel. Whoa, how genteel, Steven. I love Connie. I love Connie. Nice. Glad you could make it. Me too. All right, move yay! It, Connie. I was his best friend first. I like his shirt. Is that a reference to something? I can't tell if it's like a water sign from Avatar or like one of those athletic programs. Huh? Steven, you're 14? Yeah. Oh. But I'm Wait. only 12 and three quarters. <laughs> Toddler. What's it called? Adolescent. What's it called? Adolescent. Adolescent. I'm actually surprised that Steven is turning 14. For some reason, that's oh, older than I pictured like him. Stagnated there a little bit, buddy. Oh. Oh! Steven doesn't age? So he's not going to grow up. Well, it's hard to say. Oh, yeah. He's half human. So I'm not really sure how he's going to age. We're just Interesting question. Yes, right. Are you okay? Yeah. Does this ruin Steven and Connie? Well, that makes sense why she thought she was older, also. Oh, of my gosh. I'm heartbroken if this stops them from being together. Here, if you just stretch on up here. Ha. How's that? Oh. Wow. Ready for an existential crisis, Alec? Ha. I am ready. I have one every day. Ooh. Okay, Steven, open up. That music change. Wow. Oh my. Huh? Oh, wait a second. Huh, you look good, Steven. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Garnet. Dude, the voice. Your no. Neck. Oh, uh, what about it? You this isn't real. One. This oh my is not God. permanent. He never had a neck before. All right, then, let's get this party started. <sighs> yeah, let's. No, no, no. Garnet, you blew out his candles. Now he doesn't get any wishes. Oh, yo, it almost fell. Shirt. What a pretty color. Try it on. I love the pink. Oh, don't worry. It fits fine just like this. <laughs> My mind is blown right now. Good. Is this a permanent character change for the remainder of the show that they just dropped at the end of season two? Not even the end. Hmm. It can't be. They're going back. Cool. Thanks, Steven. This feels impermanent to me. 
Oh no! Oh. Okay, wait, it's fake. It's fine, don't worry about it. Ah, uh, oh, this is killing me, okay. Dancing! It's dancing, Alec! That's all that's going on. We dance! You're doing the thing again where you just watch me react. Ah! Oh, damn it! Dance time. I still can't believe all this time you were older than me. <laughs> Take me into a PG-13 movie sometime. Whoa. Whoa, that's a line. No, I'm just kidding. I would never ask you to break the law. <laughs> oh. oh. Steven's having fun. We know how to but, throw a ball. We know how to throw this a This poses some real problems. Excuse me for a moment, Connie. I'm gonna go freshen up. Be right back. What or problems? Does it? Wait, maybe it doesn't. I mean, adolescence causes lots of problems. Oh, gee. Okay, he's still young. Keep this up for the rest of my life. No one will suspect it. <laughs> You've been stretching yourself out okay. all day? No. I this makes a lot more sense. I'm half human, so maybe it works different for me. We'll just have to wait and see, right? Oh, Steven. Oh. Dude. I mean, his life is an experiment. That's such a stressful thing. Are you okay? It looks like you're gonna throw up. Oh yeah, e everything's fine. It's fine. See, it's fine! I told you! You could believe us. This might sound silly, but... I'm really glad that I'm going to get to grow up with you. Oh no... Steven? Oh... Oh shit! <laughs> Steven! What's going on? What happened? What? Now hear me out. That's right. It might not what? be fine. He turned back into a baby? Yes! Dude, I told you. Stretching your body out for that long is not good for you. See? Lives just make us a lesser man. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I got this. This is taking me on twists and turns. I don't even know what to expect anymore. Driving always used to calm him down. But how do I change him back? I don't know. Ah, oh, he was a good car baby. I just want to be there for Steven. Don't worry, Steven. It doesn't matter to me what age it seems like you are. I want to hang out with you no matter what. Ah, oh, she figured it out, yo. Doesn't that sound fun? I don't know. This is a little weird to me. I feel like aging in random orders is totally normal. Oh my god, Amethyst. <laughs> I just... <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Smaller. Steven's microscopic. He's reverted back to a zygote. Everyone! A zygote? Oh, thank God. Oh, it fits now. You're back to normal. I heard what you said in the van. It's really okay if I don't age like a human? Of course it is. I don't know. Alex's like, I don't know, maybe it's not! <laughs> Dad! What is it, little man? Look at this! Holy smokes! You're growing a beard! You really are getting older! Everybody, look at this! Unbelievable. Very... Nobody worry about his future design. <laughs> <laughs> it is interesting. I mean, they're almost looking at him like a zoo animal. Oh my gosh, we gotta stop down for oh, a yeah. second. That really took me for some loops. I actually legitimately believed for a second that maybe he turned 14 and then just sprouted up and was going to stay that way. But the episode's energy was not feeling that way to me. It yeah. felt like it was not that. As someone in the comments explained, because I agree with you, but I don't know why. I don't know why it gave that feeling that it wasn't going to be a permanent change. Because I don't know how to explain that I agree with you. Because that does happen. People, like, if, if you watch Adventure Time, like, Finn does go through permanent changes throughout the series. What about that made it feel like it was an impermanent decision? I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It, it, I don't know. Maybe there was just something that felt a little bit off about it that was meant to feel off about it because yeah. it was a ruse. I was having a hard time wrapping my head around where, you know, his aging impacted... Uh, his relationship with Connie, because at first I was like, oh, this is weird. He could accelerate an age. And I, I I realized, oh, he's trying to make it seem like it's a normal growth. But that's still a little weird because 
what if every year suddenly you experienced all your growth at once? Whoa, that would make a great Twilight Zone episode. Next one? Next one. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Oh my god. I hope. I don't know what this episode is. I wonder if it's related. Season three, episode two. It could have been great. I feel like this has to be a reminiscing episode, right? Because we're looking back on something that could have been... Hmm, actually, not necessarily. It could be like a missed opportunity. What if Steven and Connie broke up and they're like, well, it could have been great if it weren't for the age problem. <laughs> I don't think that's what <laughs> they we're They just getting, backtracked but... the last episode. You know what, Steven? I thought about it overnight and I totally could not date you if you were 14 and I was 40. That would not be a thing. <laughs> Why are they just sitting there looking at nothing? We worked hard, and we deserve to take it easy for a little bit. I mean, just look at that view. Oh, I work too hard. I need to go outside. Being hard is important, oh. but feeling good is important, too. That's right, Stephen. Though there are pretty high stakes here. Yeah, like paying rent. Everybody become a member, support the channel. There's a member-only adventure time thing. God damn it. We're making music. Oh. You're not making anything. Come on, Peridot song. For the satisfaction of bringing it to completion. Sure. Tell me so tea. Interest without meaning. I don't think music oh. has to bring completion. Life and death and love and birth and peace and I love this song. On the planet Earth. We're gonna have to cut a lot of it. I love this. And peace and war on the planet Earth. Yes, yes, that's it. Oh, she's learning. We've all got something to fear. Oh, <laughs> The sudden courage? All insane, but I guess I am too. Anybody would be if they were stuck on Earth with you. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. True. Commenters, if you're feeling it, drop your songs in the comments. The lyrics, not the. There's no musical file. For anything that's worth more than peace and love on the planet Earth. Peace and love throughout the whole universe. Just to answer the question. You really did it, huh? <gasps> We? Oh, wait. I need to check something. Oh, they are a team. I really hope she sticks around, but I don't think she's gonna. I love how distrusting you are of the show all the time. And it's on. <gasps> the oh, yes, let's go. I still don't know why this is the title. Special super warp to the moon? Hmm. I don't remember what this Come is. A I don't remember where this is going still, actually. Lion is here. Let's go. Wait a minute. Can they just go to the moon? I was... I guess so. Lion can. Heck yeah! Okay. Dude, that looks amazing. That reminded me of the Digimon movie. Are you okay, bud? Get me out of this furry free. Oh, this is about to get interesting. It doesn't look like the moon. Hey, look over here. Hmm. I think it's a door. Oh, it's the moon. <laughs> Would Steven have survived? Wait a minute. I have a lot of questions about Steven's livability up here. Did... He's half gem. But did they bother to do a check on if his vitals would make it on the moon? Let's hope so. Oh, a quadruple backflip. Our physical forms adjust automatically to the gravity of any planetoid. Aww. Okay. Well. Lucky. Sometimes when Paradox says those smart things, they go over my head just because of the timbre in which it's set. Gems are always the same weight. They have a constant weight on every planet. There she is! Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. Or atmosphere, Yellow. Could it be Yellow blue diamond? diamond? Yellow diamond! Wow. The diamonds are the gem matriarchs. Together, they make up the great diamond authority that governs homeworld and all the outlying colonies. We live to serve them. Whoa! We were all I think made it's to serve them, even though some of us don't anymore. The rebellion does not want to be controlled, of course, or to serve. I think if I just do this. Huh? Oh my gosh! Peridot's gonna need to make a choice soon. So incredible! Only the most elite of the elite can enter wow. these sanctums. We are literally walking in the footsteps of the diamonds. This is where I can't say stuff again. <laughs> I love this scene. This place gives me the creeps. Uh, like at a D&D &D quest where you have a tempting other option or you, you could stay on the linear path. So elegant, so simple, so perfect. So how do you turn it? It's weird for us to be here so fast. It's got one of those glowy hand dealies. 
You get to Interesting. Dance. Why not? It's really cool. Oh. Well, they aren't here now, hmm. right? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Fulfill your She's dream. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Here we go. This is a really old system. Ooh. I'm noticing things. Audience, commenters, let me know if you noticed what I noticed. All we need to do is feed this data to the drill, and we should be all set. That's it then. Mission hmm. accomplished. Yeah. Nope. We already got here too fast. There's no way it's over this fast. It was used for planning the colony. Aww. Here, look. Ooh, history time. What was the plan? Hmm. Well, let's take a look. <sighs> Interesting that the land on Earth just barely differs from the real land on Earth. Were you thinking shutting this operation down? It could have been great! No! Ooh. Completing this colony would have meant the extinction of all life on Earth. Ah, okay. Rose Quartz believed all life was precious and worth protecting. Well, if she uh, wanted to protect it, okay. she did a lousy job. Uh. Now there's no colony, and there's gonna be no Earth, so thank you, Rose Quartz. You doomed the planet. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh, is there anything that's worth more than <laughs> you? Wrong audience. Oh! We're talking about things that you do not understand. Garnet, stop! Oh. <laughs> They're leaving her behind, I think. They've spent thousands of years trying to protect the Earth. I thought maybe you finally understood why. Oh. Oh, it's painful. I'm coming. Let's go, you two. What? That's it. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed so you see the next one. Finale of season two is next, everybody. Um, oh my goodness. There's just so many more questions. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say. I'm somebody who will talk myself into spoiling something, so I, I don't want to say shit. I only barely got to say, I loved the map of the Earth that we saw, because, yeah. you know, you saw the resemblance to, like, oh, here's North America, South America, but then you see over China and Asia is, like, very distorted. It's, like, almost as if Earth underwent a uh, a different... And that's cool. Like, I, I like that they're, it's similar but different. And uh, they make a distinction that this is not the Earth you know. This yeah. is our own Earth. It's a little fictionalized. I like that it's Earth enough that we can relate to things like Nintendo. In terms of the plot, uh, I think it's really weird to me that Peridot stole that gem. She seemed to have a lot of appreciation for the uh, sacred nature of that chair, and she went and stole something from it. She must have something pretty big in mind, and I would hope that Steven's thinking about that. I think he is. Emptying Whether that is my brain of all plot so as to give yep. no facial clues. Depending on whether Peridot decides to be on their side or not, based on what Steven just said, I think is going to be really interesting, because we don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that we get Peridot staying in this show, and I honestly, what I expect to happen, I think she's gonna end up on the side of the gems, and that's gonna jive really poorly with Yellow Diamond and everybody else on her side, and they're basically gonna, like, capture her and imprison her or something like that, and she's not gonna be part of the main cast. That's my prediction, everybody, before we get into the finale. I'll let Lou uh, end his blank stare, which is really freaking all of us out, and uh, we can get on uh, to the next episode soon. I am experiencing total oneness and bliss and euphoria with the universe. Except for the plot of Steven Universe.